Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we are gonna talk about the concept of price normalization in economics and everything you have to know about uh, doing this here. So let's go. So here's just an observation um, that you can go and make. Often we see that it's the practice when modeling a consumer's problem that theorists simply choose the price of a good and set it equal to one. We also see cases where we declare the sum of all prices in our economy equal to one for a demonstration of a particular result. This is usually used in equilibrium existence proofs. How are each of these moves done in a theoretically sound way? And really, how is this done practically? The trick that we have to note here is, so long as we preserve the quality of our constraints, we are free to transform the constraints of our consumer's problem at will. So recall our standard intermediate microeconomics problem where we're maximizing our utility where we have two goods, X1 and X2, subject to our budget constraint here. Note that this is the same thing as maximizing our utility function subject to this new budget constraint here, which is simply just a transformation of the original budget constraint where we divide both sides of this equation by P1 here. In this case, we see that X1 here has no coefficient on it, which is would be our price. Now, we're gonna be really chick cheeky here, and we're gonna declare these new variables, R, which is gonna be equal to M all over P1, Q1, which is gonna be equal to one, and Q2, which is equal to P2 over P1. With that, we get our transformed utility maximization problem, where we're maximizing our same objective problem subject to this constraint. Or we can go and say we're maximizing our utility subject to this constraint where there's no price on good one here, right? Because that just goes away because if we're just saying that Q1 is equal to one because P1 over P1 is just equal to one here, we just go and have that here. Now, we're gonna go and discuss this other type of normalization where we're gonna be thinking about all the prices summing to one. Now to do that, I'm gonna be thinking about the consumer's problem, but this time where there's n many goods. Now we have this standard case where we have n many goods here. And we're gonna divide both sides by the sum of all of the prices of each good in our economy. This goes and transforms our budget constraint to be the following here, still keeping our optimization problem, but the constraint is going to still be the same because we can recover the original one. Now we're going to go and declare our variables. R is going to be equal to M all over the summation of all these prices and each price uh, QJ or transform price is going to be equal to PJ all over the summation of all prices. With that, we go and we get this case where we're maximizing our utility subject to this new type of constraint or this transform constraint, right? It follows that the summation of these new prices are going to sum to one. So that's what we mean here when we're going and saying that all our prices are going to sum to one. It's these transformed or normalized prices that we're going and we're talking about. Now, we're gonna note something uh, really important. We're gonna note that we can recover our original price ratio from our transform price ratio. And that's just seen from this algebra here, right? If we look at this fraction that we go and we have here, right? Going and bringing the denominator up to the top and flipping it, right? We go and we get our original price ratio. The main takeaway that you should note from this part is that our optimality conditions with transform prices communicate the same results as the optimality conditions of our true prices. So this is really the whole idea of price normalization. Number one, it makes things computationally simple. And number two, we can use this normalization to go and prove a lot of useful results for with theorems that are only bounded on particular ranges that we're going and we're talking about. So this is, uh, everything you got to know about price normalization, how we can go and drop off coefficients and how we can go and just declare all our prices going and summing to one. I hope this video is informative. Take care.